All right, today's gonna be a short little quick workout session. We're gonna do some shoulder prehab exercises, focus on upper body. I did some deadlifts the other day, dumbbell deadlifts, and that kind of pulled a little bit on my back. So we're gonna avoid the lower body today and do some shoulder mobility. Let's grab a band and get started. All right, so today we're gonna to be focusing on some shoulder prehab exercises that I've done before. We're gonna start with some banded exercises. I'm gonna take a red band. If you guys need bands, you can check out the link below. Rogue has a great variety of bands. This is a small little red band. This is great for shoulder prehab exercises, um, a lot of mobility exercises, especially with your arms and upper body. We're gonna start with the band about shoulder height distance away. I'm gonna stand about, we're gonna get my watch going too, so we can use this as a timer. Um, so you're gonna stand here facing your anchor point. Anchor point is just whatever attached rig, um, if you have a wall rig or a wall attachment, you can utilize that as well. But you're gonna stand here for one minute. This is to help strengthen the back side of the shoulders. Wrist is elbow over the elbow, elbow in line with shoulders. So essentially I'm kind of creating this 90 degree angle here. Palm is facing the anchor point. Like I said, anchor point is about shoulder width distance. We're working on the external rotation here, but we're working on an isometric hold. So isometric holds are great. Um, you have contraction or is a, a concentric, eccentric, and isometric in terms of movement patterns. So this is gonna be an isometric hold. We're about 35 seconds halfway in. I'm facing my anchor point, feet about hip width distance apart. The focus here is the back of the shoulder. So I will hold this for one minute. If you're newer to this movement and it feels like a minute is a lot, you can always modify it to about 30 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're about one minute, almost one minute in. While I'm here, I'll take my opposite arm, place it on my lower back, and focus on bringing my elbow and forearm down to my rib cage. This will help kind of strengthen or stretch the rotator cuff as I do this. One minute, and then we'll switch. Same thing, facing anchor point. You could do this with a blue band. A blue band is similar in thickness. It maybe has a little bit more meat and potatoes on the band. It will be a little more challenging. The problem you want to have, if you probably may have with that, is if the wrist starts to go forward of the elbow, it might be too much. Two options, you can either take a step forward to the anchor point to release that, or go to a smaller band. If you have a smaller band like the orange band and it's really super loose, you can step further away from the anchor point. But like I've said before, you want elbow in line or underneath the wrist versus elbow back or elbow forward. We really want to stack that 90 degree angle. You guys can kind of see from this angle as well. And also elbows in line with the shoulder versus being forward or back. This is really gonna solidify the external rotation, helping the back of the shoulder. We have about 15 more seconds. I'll do one minute on each arm and I'll do that for two rounds. And then we'll go to the second exercise. Second exercise is going to be a banded pull across. So you could actually start with a banded pull across if you want, or start with a one minute hold. I typically will do the banded pull, ac uh, pull across and then the 90 degree hold. Good, now we're gonna switch one more minute on each side. Morning. Morning. Stay there, Entropy. Good girl. So I'll use my watch, this is a Polar watch that I'm utilizing. This is the Vantage V3, I really like it. I've had the Grit X Pro, um, really love it. It has like a bronze, dusted bronze brown color. Beautiful watch, love it. I typically go for black though, so this black watch goes great with any outfit. Clearly I'm wearing, <laughs> some colors, uh, some purple and pink. But uh, anytime I film or do content, I wanna make sure I have something bright. Black can be great too, especially since I have a colored background. Um, the black can make things stand out. All right, so we got another 15, 20 seconds here. So the second round can be a little more challenging. I'll start to feel in the back of the shoulder, but I'm trying to keep tension versus having slack like so. So you wanna make sure you're leaning or stepping away from your anchor point. If for whatever reason the anchor point is really, really low, like say you can't raise the anchor point of where the band is at, it's set into against the wall, you could always go onto your knees and hold that position. But again, here you kind of see the distance. This is gonna pull on the wrist more. So that's why I want the anchor point in line with the shoulders. Cool, so that's one minute. Switch one more time. Minute on the other side. How'd things go? Me? Yeah, oh, is it not recording? Oh, man. Let me still record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're asking how things are going. I'm not going to cut that out. All right, so we got about another 30 more seconds on this side. Then we're going to do the bandit pull-up cross. So another option you guys could do in terms of executing this, you could do the one-minute hold on each side. Then you could do the bandit pull aparts and do two rounds of that. I personally prefer to go back and forth, just left, right, left, right, with the bandit hold, and then I'll go to the pull-aparts. Pull so about another 10 more seconds. 
So focusing on shoulder mobility here, this is a great exercise. I call these my prehab exercises, meaning they're preventative care or preventative exercises. I wanna make sure I don't have something happening to my shoulder, so then I do have to uh, have issues or have surgery or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me, all right. So that wraps up that first exercise. Second exercise, I'm gonna have a straight arm. My wrist or hand will be between my shoulders and kind of center of the body, center of the crest of the chest. Arm is nice and straight, wrist in line with shoulder. I'm gonna pull the shoulder back and then I'm going to pull the band across my body, nice and controlled. You're gonna perform 20 repetitions. So that first one was uh, time, time was set. This is going to be task, right? So this task is set, meaning 20 reps. You just complete a nice, easy, controlled pace. I can't talk and count at the same time, so I'm just gonna guesstimate about 20. While I'm here, if I'm too far away and it feels too much on the shoulder, I'll step closer to the anchor point. If it's not enough, I'll step further away. But the problem here is I wanna try to make sure I'm, vo I'm avoiding my shoulders going and then my arm going, excuse me, hiccups. So arm nice and straight, opposite arm will be on my hand. Think of kind of bracing your core engaging your abs as if someone was gonna punch you or tap you in the abs. I think that's about 20, then we'll switch. Same thing, notice my body's kind of in line, so I'll try to adjust you as you can see here, but my body's in line, I wanna face away from the anchor point so I'm gonna get a little bit of rotation. As you notice here, I pull that shoulder back and then I'm pulling across my body. So focus here, if you notice that my back muscles, arm muscles, I'm finishing with my arm in line with my shoulder. And as I come back in front of me, my hand's finishing or my wrist isn't finishing almost in slightly inside my shoulder or in line with my shoulder. Depending on your strength and ability to use a band, you could use a thicker band, but I recommend, highly recommend this Rogue Red Band. Again, you can check out the link below. If you're looking to create your own home gym, all the equipment on there is great for garage gyms. Everything I've gotten there includes a variety of things in here. Rig, bar, bands, dumbbells, kettlebells, etc. That was about 20. Now we'll switch, same thing. 20, I always start by pulling the shoulder back versus having it pushed out, pull back, and then across, nice controlled. That's two, I'll try to count at the same time. So it's not super slow, not super fast, nice controlled. I think it was 10. Good, and then 20. I typically start with my arm that is weaker or needs more attention, which is my right arm. I've had right or issues with my right shoulder in the past, so I always start with my right arm, Four. typically. Six, eight, nine, 10. Almost there. All right, so we're actually gonna be using this band later for some banded lat pull downs and banded triceps. This is a great super set that I utilize for myself and my clients. So we're gonna keep the band up there. We're just gonna go a little bit higher. We are gonna come back to this band in a second. We're actually gonna do some hip, pelvis, spine exercises with the band. We're just gonna move some of the equipment. All right, so we're gonna grab a thicker band. This band also from Rogue. This is, I think, one and a half inch. I use my knuckle as a measuring tool. So if this is about one inch, it's about one and a half inches. We are gonna get this set up so that it is, take the J hook out. We're gonna put this about hip height because essentially that's where we're gonna have the band wrap around. I'll show you guys from both angles. We're gonna start the side that I need for myself. So about, like I said, hip height, hip, kind of the widest part of your hip here. I'm gonna step through this band. Again, I'm gonna face away because this is the first angle I'm gonna show, but then I'll rotate so you can see the other opposite side. The purpose and the reason I'm doing this is my PT gave this to me in terms of helping with the spinal stenosis and my herniated disc. I did get PRP. If you guys haven't checked out that video, feel free to check it out. It talks about my golf, my golf game, <laughs> getting sick, getting food poisoning, uh, PRP, as well as EDC. All right, so we're gonna adjust this just a little bit higher. So I want it pretty much in line with my hips. My PT was telling me that we want to step away. Ooh, I forgot one of the important parts. Wait, let me, one second. We're gonna grab a yoga block. Now the yoga block can be dynamic. I'll tell you guys how we're gonna implement this here in a second. Step through. Oops. 
These allergies are kicking my butt. So before I get to the yoga block here, I'm gonna tell you guys. So we're gonna get set up, feet about hip width distance apart. Your hands gonna be aligned with the shoulder. You're gonna be pressing into the anchor point. The band is gonna pull the hips. So the band's gonna pull the hips and you're slowly gonna kind of push away, hold for about five to 10 seconds. I'm trying to focus on relaxing the rest of my body as much as I can. I'm still active in my, especially my right arm and right leg because I'm kind of pushing away, but it's gonna hold for five, five to 10 seconds and we'll release a little bit. This is gonna help create some space, hopefully in the back. Um, my PT said that it might irritate the herniate or might irritate the spine in terms of the herniation, but it could help with the spinal stenosis in terms of the pinching of the nerve. I'm getting some pinching of the nerve down my right leg, piriformis, whoops, piriformis, middle of the butt and down my leg a little bit, but I'm getting more kind of tingling in the foot. I also got PRP on Friday, so there could be some inflammation from that. Um, so again, just being dynamic as much as I can be. All right, so yoga block's gonna come in where the hand is gonna be. This is just gonna add a little bit more resistance. So as I step away, the tension on the band is more, just like I utilize here with my shoulder band, or my band for the shoulder. So notice that my hips are kind of being pulled. I'm gonna push away, hold. Again, I can't talk and count at the same time, so we're gonna hold about five to 10 seconds. We're just trying to align, keep the hips underneath. Shorts are coming across off me. Holding, and then we're gonna release a little bit. And then we'll do it again, about three times. Again, arms straight, wrist in line with the shoulder-ish. The block is just adding resistance, so I'm pushing myself further away. Band's pulling me to the right, and I'm trying to pull my spine, hips back underneath my body versus being kind of jagged, if you think about it. So I'm trying to be active, stacked, hold. My shorts keep falling. Hopefully you can't see my underwear. Good, I'll release and we'll do one more. I feel kind of like a stretch in my spine back. Obviously I feel activation in that right leg so I'm trying to push away, I'm trying to resist the band. Today's gonna be a super short gym session. We got lots on the agenda today. We're gonna be going to, not Circa, but the Cosmo. The Cosmo is the Cosmopolitan on the Strip. It's a super cool hotel. If you ever heard of the Chandelier Bar, the Chandelier Bar is there, so we'll be checking that out. We'll also be doing the pool. The th cool thing about Cosmos, there's three different pools there. There is obviously like the, the pool party pool, and then there's two kind of relaxed, chill, laid back by the pool, um, or laid by the, I guess, the cabanas. There are some cabanas there, but also chairs. But the pools are super nice. Been there before, love it, really laid back and chill. Obviously the, there's music, DJ, food, drinks, etc. cetera. Um, and then we'll be going to a show with some friends tonight. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys from the front angle so you can kind of see a different angle here. Even though I'm not gonna spend too much time here because it's opposite direction of what I wanna do for my hips. And then gonna go to Shania Twain tonight. I haven't seen Shania Twain ever. So this will be a nice, beautiful treat. All right, so just from the front side so you can see, not that you saw from the back side, but again, same thing. I'm going to stack my body, feet about hip to shoulder width distance apart, hips underneath my shoulders, arm in line, or hand in line with my shoulder. I'm pressing away and I'm pulling. And it's interesting, when I do it on this side, I don't feel that stretch in that spine. I don't feel that, um, I feel the activation on my left foot here, obviously, because I'm pushing away, but I don't feel that same stretch um, or activation on the back of my right side as I do here on my left side. So it tells me that my right side is obviously having that pinching, that tightness specifically with the spine. Um, and this is regards to the spinal stenosis. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna show you guys that. I don't wanna counter balance everything I've done. So I'll just do that like three, three or four sets and then we'll put this away. Dun, 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 dun. And then I'm gonna do one series of hamstring exercises on the ground with the green band. Today's all about bands today. So I wanna show you guys just the other set of band. This is a blue band I was referencing. This blue band is thicker than the red band here, obviously, by a little bit. Still good, but it's gonna have more resistance. So I highly recommend if you're doing shoulder prehab exercises, utilize the red. If you're super strong, you want more resistance, blue is a good one. But this one is the one inch band, the green band. I'm gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna do a series of hamstring IT bands. If your back is tight or your hamstrings are tight, calves are tight, this is a great go-to exercise. All right, we're gonna start with our right leg because my right leg's the more spicy one. And I recommend when you're doing exercises and stretching, try to start with your right one because I feel like a lot of time, if you don't have a timer or a watch to keep track of how long you're doing it, you'll typically spend more time in that first leg. All right, so this is my favorite hamstring series go-to exercises. I incorporate this with my clients as well, as well myself. You're gonna start with your leg straight, band at the arch of the foot. You're gonna really flex your foot. Keep your leg as straight as possible. If this is not doable, two options, either bend this opposite leg that'll alleviate the stretch or bend the knee 
right? The bend in the knee can be generous or slight. So I'll start here, I'll flex the foot, kind of pull the toes towards me, drive the heel to the sky, and I'll try to push that, extend that leg versus having it bent. You may feel this in your calf, your hamstring. You may even feel this in your opposite hip, depending on how tight you are. From here, you're going to push, pull. You're gonna do kind of a contract release. So I'm gonna push on the band. I'm gonna pull on the band. So I'm not really going necessarily anywhere. There's a little bit of movement. I'm gonna push, pull for three, two, one. I'm gonna slowly release. And I'm gonna try to pull the band a little bit higher. So we're focusing on trying to contract, release, push, pull at the same time. And then ideally, we wanna see if we can get that leg closer up to my body. Now, if you look at this and you're like, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get my leg that way, that's okay. You can always take one side of the band off and modify to wherever you are. So you are gonna meet you, or you're gonna meet your stretch where your body is going to allow you to get into that stretch. It should be a stretch, it shouldn't be something that's super painful, but you should feel that down the back of the leg. We're gonna do this for two to three times. Push, pull, three, two, one. Release, see if you can get a little bit higher, right? If you need to bend at any point, adjust the knee, that's fine. You can also rotate, pull gently on your left hand to let that foot roll in. And then straighten, that's gonna stretch out the peroneals or peroneals, I've heard peroneals, on the side, essentially the side of your calf. Push, pull again one more time. Drive the toes to you, heel to the sky. Holy smacks, three, two, one, good release. Now this next exercise, you're gonna drop across your body. So you're trying to keep both butt cheeks in contact with the ground. You don't want to, at least for this one, roll all the way off. That is a great stretch as well, but not the purpose of this one. So leg across the body, I'm gonna same thing. Push, pull, drive the leg away. You may feel this on your IT band, hamstring, and then you're going to release. Same thing, I'm gonna to try to pull, but higher. Holy smacker jacks. Good, push, pull. I like to do two, three times at least. Three, two, one, good, release, pull, but higher. And again, you wanna to try to get that leg close as close as possible. If you need to bend the knee, that's always an option for you. Push, pull, three, two, one, good, release, pull, but higher. And then if you want, again, just to kind of release it, you can get into this like cross, oh, Oh, my back feels like it needs a T kind of position here. And then we'll come back. And now we're gonna go opposite direction. So this is gonna go across the body. So I'm gonna drop my leg off to the side. Just readjust my shorts in, Paquito. So same thing here. I'm trying to have enough space where I pull this leg. This may be an easier stretch for you. You may start to feel this in the left hip or opposite hip. So same thing, push, pull. I'm trying to drive the leg away while still maintaining some tension on the band. Push, pull, and then pull a bit higher. I can even add my Left arm across my body up here, so you get a little bit of side bend, stretch in the rib cage, lower back. I can also release the arm down. I'll show another stretch here for the rib cage, but again, push, pull. Three, two, one, pull a bit higher. Same thing, trying to reach. I can even look off to my left shoulder, kind of through my arm and bicep to the side. Looking, 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 twisting, rotating. I feel a little more stretch in my rib cage and back. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different in terms of what you feel. And then the last thing you can do is bring the arm up overhead or put both hands in this band, grab higher towards the foot, bring your left foot to the um, kind of inside of the body. Ooh, try to keep your butt cheeks and hips on the ground. Holy cracker jacks, this is tight. So I feel this all around here. This is a great side bend exercise to incorporate into your stretching. Ooh, okay, let's do the exact same thing on the opposite side and then we'll get to our upper body superset. I highly recommend you starting on the side that's tighter. Now, you can also retest this, meaning you could do one leg, then stand up and do like a standing good morning toe touch, and you'll be able to feel the release or the less resistance or pull on one leg to the other. You could also try a squat, deadlift, just body weight, no load. Good, so same thing, push, pull, three, two, one, pull a higher. So if you guys watched the other video I did, uh, I did some deadlifts, dumbbell deadlifts, kind of like RDLs. I was super excited because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna target my hamstrings. Definitely got my hamstrings, but also felt a little bit on my back the next day. So trying to be smart and not do too much with training, but it's hard because um, don't wanna lose my gains, wanna keep building and maintaining what I've been working on, but also know that it's gonna take a little bit of time, at least two weeks to kind of let the back heal from the PRP. Um, they want to kind of avoid any like jarring or exercise or any movements that are gonna be irritating. Um, to the back, like plyometrics, box jumps, running, anything jarring. So same thing, off to the side, push, pull, push, pull. This side, I'm going to the outside left first versus across the body, nothing wrong with that. You guys can flow your own way, um, but these are three different stretches you're hitting, essentially that straight-legged hamstring, your IT band when you go across the body, and this is away from the body, we're hitting more of the adductor inner thigh. Again, you can always bring the arm across, 
Oof, this is nice and tight, a little more pinchy than the other side. Back just popped, felt really good. Again, you don't want to push pull. <sighs> My legs need some serious lotion. All right, let's go to the opposite side now. Oh, I already did that. You may notice that one leg may get further than the other. That's okay, you're gonna have some asymmetries. Everything's not gonna be symmetrical. Push pull. You also notice that I have cups marks on my body. I thought they'd be gone by now, but that's okay. Body was tight. Body's been holding on to a lot of stress. And so the cups bring blood flow to the body. So essentially kind of like looks like a bruise in a way, a dark circle bruise, <laughs> like suction cups, like an octopus. Good. I'm just going to release, stretch. Ooh. <sighs> oh, feels way better. All right, let's get to our super body, upper body superset. I have to open those hips a little bit later. Ugh. All righty. Okay, so this is a go-to exercise for me. If you don't have equipment and you have bands, this is a great way to strengthen your upper body. The resistance is going to increase and decrease based on how much tension or how far away or close you are to the anchor point. Excuse my hair. All right, so you want the anchor point where it's secured to the rig or wherever pull-up bar, you want it above your body. Arms are gonna be nice and straight. We're gonna do banded lat pull-downs. Excuse me, banana. So palms are facing each other, hands wrapped around. I'm gonna have a feet under my hips, small bend in my knees, hinge from the hips. Again, I can go further away or closer depending on the tension I want. Arms are gonna be nice and straight. I am going to focus on pulling my hands down to my thighs with a straight arm. So I'm engaging my lats, the lats are the big muscles in the back. We're closing the distance between our arm and our body, bringing the triceps to our lats. I think that was four, five, six. Again, if you want more, step away a little bit more. Fourteen, so your core is working isometric hold here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. So we're going to do 20 today. I'm going to take a small step forward. I'm going to stand a little more upright. I'm going to bring my arms closer to my body, bend at the elbow. Now I'm just going to extend my wrist to my thigh. So I'm opening up my elbow. Here I'm working on the tricep extensions, right? I might have a small hinge forward. Six is going to target the triceps, the back of your arms. Eight, nine. Whew. We're going to do 20 as well. And 20. Holy crap. So tricep, back of the arm, of the upper arm, bicep, right? So that's two exercises back to back. We are going to do... Um, I'm going to show an alternative option real quickly for you guys. If you don't have anything to anchor the point, anchor point your uh, band to, you can step on the band about more of a narrow stance here, bands together. This is a bent over banded row. You're gonna push your butt back, hinge from the hips, more of a hip and knee bend. I'm gonna pull or row my arms back, bringing my elbows back behind my rib cage, trying to pinch my shoulder blades together. Now this is gonna be more for your upper back, right? You're still targeting the lats, but it's a pull back if you don't have an anchor point where you're pulling down. So that's a good substitute that you can utilize for that. Again, 20 repetitions. And then the tricep extensions, an option would be you could do 10 on each arm where you're here. Arm, this is a great tricep stretch, by the way, but you could push and extend up, right? Focus on trying to keep the elbow here. You can even hand hold the opposite arm, then you could extend. These will be challenging. That's why I would say do 10, but that is an option if you don't have an anchor point. So that was one round. We're gonna rest about 90 seconds or so, 60 seconds. Since I'm pressed for time and I got lots on the agenda today, we are going to get ready into the next one. So arm straight. Stand away from the anchor point, hinge, and then straight arm pull. You can challenge yourself here by really focusing on pulling the belly button into the spine. Oops. The more you step away, the more you're going to feel it. Can you hear that? Somebody has a new cool golf cart. <laughs> All right, straight into that next exercise. So this is gonna really target the arms. We're focusing on upper body pump today. If you want more, step away. 
Uf. Oh, 20. All right. So we've done two sets. We're going to do two more sets. Then be a total of four sets for today uh, for the upper body. Then after this, we're going to do some glute. Sorry. We're going to do some weighted glute bridges with a dumbbell. We're going to go heavy dumbbell and we're going to do 20 repetitions. So higher rep, obviously lower weight. Typically when I do glute bridges, I'll try to be like 315, 325, 335. Um, obviously I'm not working on heavy load right now because of my PRP appointment or session the other day, last week. So we're going to do lighter load and focus on the extension of the hips, strengthen the backs of the body. Just want to target a little bit of the hamstrings and glutes. Also another great banded exercise. I'm going to actually superset this. We'll, with the glute bridges will be banded hamstring curls. We are going to be using a bench and the um, ranker point here. I can give an option if you don't have a bench, but being elevated off the floor is going to be great. You're going to have it set up kind of around the knee. I'll show you guys that option. If you have long socks or ankle socks, that'll be great. So it'll kind of protect against your ankle or Achilles just from the band rubbing your skin off. Won't rub your skin off, but you know what I get. All right, next set. So arms straight, starting with the banded lat pull downs. Palms face each other. Five, six, seven. I'm trying to make sure only my arms are moving. I'm not moving my hips or my body. I think that was 10. 12, 13. And 20. Good. Step closer. Elbows. Think bicep by your rib cage. You're pulling your upper arm to the body. Oh, 20. All right, cool. So one more set. So we're just trying to focus on some more isometric movement. Um, but I'm going to do one more set of here. Then I'm going to do my lower body exercises. But that's going to wrap up today's session in terms of filming. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Please share with others if you find this beneficial, helpful, supportive. Also, I love your support by subscribing and also sharing with someone else. Thanks again.